Yo, know, girls and guys, we big sad. We lost the run of a lifetime. It was to my own, own negligence. I even had so many lucky things go my way. Back to the drawing board. I think that run would have been like a 111. And I even had zero blue ball or zero gray ball or whatever they're called. Zero brown balls. Poopy balls. Then again, I don't have to run against a sweaty run, too. There's also that. I even got like an early Goomba stomp and everything, bro. <laughs> But it, it's all good. I lost a minute on Rooster Skip, I think, so. Which actually isn't that much. If that's the only big loss you had up, to, up until the end game. Yeah, you never understand how good these world records are until you start running the game yourself, man. That's all I got to say. Now, what am I doing? I'm used to doing runs. Got save states, my guy. I don't remember if it was this run. One of the runs I forgot to go to the fucking trendy game shop. I finally learned how to do the trendy game shop fast. And then I choked Moldorm. And the first run I got to fucking. Uh. Dungeon 6. And then got soft lock. Because <laughs> I didn't know if you go a pixel too high on the jump, you fucking get soft lock. And you can't really reset on that one because it takes too long. I mean, you could, but. It's just too big of a mistake, though. I guess it's not as bad as failing rooster skip for five minutes straight, though. There's always that. Well, I guess let's start with the end game. Do I have a good save state here? What was I thinking? I can do all the other bomb triggers pretty much, but for some fucking reason I can't get the final boss bomb trigger thing. I even like dropped like a bunch of bombs, so I don't know what the fuck I'm doing wrong. But if you hold your sword out in a weird spot, it like for some reason damages the boss. It's so weird. And it's random if it damages the boss too. Yeah, I like this game, but I don't think I care quite as much about getting the quick kills on some of the mini-bosses and the bosses as much as I would in, like, Link to the Past. I even got, like, this god-tier fucking one-cycle hothead, too, dude. Or maybe it was, like, a one-and-a-half cycle or some shit. I don't even know how it happened. Sometimes he gets, like, stuck at the top and takes a billion damage. Uh, I probably should have found a way to finish the run, but I don't know how to fucking kill Deathall, and I don't know where to get arrows, either. I have no clue where to, like, get quick arrows. And that's what you're saving rupees for, so you can buy backup arrows.
All right, we'll make our last save state actually here. Actually, we probably should just save state the shit out of this boss, but. God damn it. I should have remembered that I got to the, I beat, I only beat this boss by half a heart on the one, on the run that I finished. Why didn't I come here and like look for some sort of way to get better at this? I'm just like breaking my controller for no reason. Yeah, I don't want to do this. Come on, I just dropped six bombs. I dropped more than the world record. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I gotta like hold the bomb button down too or something. To skip the text maybe? Bombs on B? Is that, I have no clue. I'm just coming up with shit. Damn it, dude. I guess I'm gonna have to watch some tutorials and stuff. Um... magic power. I hate this guy. Can I get two? Oh. I, maybe I hurt him with a sword. See, he died in three, I think. I don't know how that shit works. That's such a weird glitch. Okay, this guy's easy. I don't want to do this spin. I'm just going to always spam, and if it ever fucks up, I'm going to be super mad. <laughs> Is that childish of me? Magic powder is not what we want. I don't remember what we want. Then we want boots and things. No. This is the one you gotta practice, I feel like. Oh my god, he has so much fucking HP. And I got that luckily in my runs. I'm not good at tank that shit, but it doesn't hurt that much. Fucking asshole. Now I do that. Now I know how that fucking guy works. God damn it. I didn't know that guy was so pesky he killed my run. That guy that he dies right after Ganon or whatever. Oh, I hate this. I fucking hate this guy so much. What? I couldn't see the bomb. It was like invisible. I hate this game. <laughs> Why has it got to be fun and fucking annoying at the same time? Is he going again? Why can I only get three and I'm like going as fast as I can? Do you have to be like right up next to him to get four or five? Okay. No, I get hit every time, dude. Every time. What is this shit? What? No, this guy's so fucking annoying. Bro. They make it look so easy, and I'm just like, I can. 
Nothing is going right when I... I gotta look exactly what they're doing. He just seems like he has more than 16 health when I play against him. <laughs> like, sometimes it seems like I get hit by those arms and they do one damage. Sometimes they do two. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. <sighs> no, trying to break my controller, goddamn. Let's go. Oh, but I don't know how to do this part, goddamn. I got sword boots. Hold a sword here, I don't know what they do. Maybe I did damage to him at least, damn it. He's not dead. God, I didn't know what to do. Is he dead? I don't even know what's happening. My mind just goes like blank with this guy because I don't know what to do. I miss Ganon. Who the fuck is this? Who's this imposter? Did I get hit by that? What the fuck? How did I hit, hit it? No, I knew spamming was gonna suck. I fucking knew spamming was gonna suck somehow. I wish the hook shot made you invincible in this game. <laughs> no, I don't. Sometimes it bounces back. Why does it do that? Oh, this fucking guy, he's gonna get me killed, bro. Why is this game so hard? Jeez, this guy can kill a run, dude. This guy can super kill a run, what the fuck? I'm just gonna start standing in the corner, pretending I know some sort of manip. Probably it'd save me somehow. Fuck that guy, bro. No! I hate this boss. Bro. You killed my run, you fucking piece of shit! No, dude. He beat me, bro. What the fuck? I'm damaged so fucking much, bro. That boss is so hard if you don't know what, how he works. That last little guy that dies right away. He fucking killed my run. You piece of shit. I hope this bomb, say, this bomb trick saves me. I don't even know if it's real. I'm just hoping it's something. No! I fucking hate this guy. This guy is an asshole. They make it look so easy. Just oh, jump down, jump back up. Whenever I do it, I die. Oh, no time for bombs. You can't. Mm. You like have to get there with, to kill him fast at all. You like have to get there with extra HP and then jump into him. I think.
Otherwise you only get like two arrows and you gotta jump out or something. I thought this bomb trick was gonna save me too, god damn it. God damn it. I can't. I, me I can usually menu through the game fast, and then I choke in this fucking room for some reason. Aww. Well, it was three heads, I think. What's next? Oh, you. The next one is the hardest one, that stupid fucking Moldorm. That's like the only one you need to practice, and then you gotta practice some way to cheap out the last part. As a casual runner going for a mid-tier time. No, who's next? It's you. The douche. I know all about- No! My- Switch. To your other movement item there. God damn it. Death on- No, I don't know how to do the beginning. If I just knew how to do the beginning, I probably wouldn't suck at it. No, bro. Oh yeah, run into the body. It's not as bad. Just die. You know, running in the body didn't work for me. It's all a lie. You can't, like, actually run into it. It's got a weird hitbox. Go for threes. Fuck fours. Whoever said you can do four is a liar. <laughs> no! No, bro! You piece of shit! No, he's got me again, guys. We lost. I tried, I tried. He's a douche. I beat him last time by... <sighs> he got us, guys. We fucking suck. Damn. All those years of gaming, I'm still a fucking tr trash fucking fucking can, bro. Can't do shit. Did it have, like, keep tapping it? Now I want to know. Nothing? You got nothing for me? What are you supposed to do, dude? Oh, I reset my shit. Oh, we're... we're <laughs> <clears throat> I wanna get this shit, dude. I'm gonna have to stare at these tutorials for hours before I can get this shit. Ugh, why can't I do this? I'm gonna try the spam hold technique. Let's see if that works. Nope, I'm gonna have to research. There's no way. Jeez. It's 
too powerful. It was working before, now it just won't work. <laughs> I can't even get it one more time. Come on, one more. The bomb will kill him, right? I'm sure. Come on, Jelly. Oh, it didn't give me nothing, bro. Well, this is like the worst RNG for him, too. What's happening now? All right, easy. This is the easy spot. Just gotta spam my attack button, turn my brain off, and get it ready for the hard part. Remembering to dash Ganon right away. Actually, it's just hard to time it because he's... <laughs> you like never know when it's gonna fucking happen. That's, the, that's this boss in a nutshell. Dude. I can't believe I haven't beat this yet. I beat this in a run on accident. Why do I suck? Ain't no sense. I have to visit the color dungeon. <laughs> Get myself a tunic. <laughs> you dead? Okay, who's next? Why didn't you let me pause there? Not mad. Is he fucking Ganon next? This fucking douche. Hey, we have no HP and he's gonna destroy us. Help me out here, guys. His arm's coming for me, I know it is. Ah! I hate this ball. That's where I gotta walk into him. No. One? Does he just close it sometimes? No. These fucking arms, bro. Stay up there, you piece of shit. Die, dude. Please let me do some damage. All they did was like hold their sword right here, right? Eat that. Eat it. Your pixels. They must die. Frame perfect. Okay, this douche. Or 
or the controller. I don't care. I must speed run. A little of this, a little of that. Come on. No. Ooh. Wah. Death on my dick, bitch. Now I want a custom link spray in here, goddamn it. If only they had a sick randomizer that, that let me skip text box. And play as bunny oo woo waifu link. Oh! Should have seen that coming. That was, that was dumb. I'm just getting upset now. What the hell? My sword blocked that shit. Or the, the wall. Oh my god. This guy is going to kill it. If it's... If it's this was going to be the one I played right on. No, it's not going to happen. Dude. If this happened in a good run, I'd probably freak the fuck out, dude. I wonder people don't like these poopy-ass fucking brown balls. No. I gotta redo the whole fight because I... I'm gonna have to save state that part. So I'll just save state when... Aganum or whatever his fucking name is is one shot away. Cause I need to make sure I get that worm, dude. I can't t I can't miss that. I already suck at this boss. I don't know why I, I faced my sword to the right. It just worked when I face it up last time, and then I go and face it to the right like an idiot. All right, let's get this fucking save state, baby. I want my PB. Oh, fuck off. I'm so busy mashing that I can't open the menu. No damage was dealt. One damage was dealt to him somehow. No. Oh my god. Yep, one damage was dealt to him again. Okay, when this guy is one shot away, don't forget. What the fuck? I do that. No, that's <laughs> boots like the boots give me jump. What am I thinking? 
I know these things. No, why do I always fuck it up right away, bro? It's too good to be true. Fucking arms of doom, bro. You can't beat him. You can't beat him. I swear you can't beat him. Whatever. We got to the the right split. That's the only thing you really need to practice. Wow, this this is so precise. I can only get it when I got fucking. Wow, this sucks. Why does this have to be fucking so hard, dude? Maybe I should just spam, even if that's, I do the spin kind of wrong. I don't know. Okay, I think I figured it out. I don't think I'm going to mess this up anymore, really. What? Let me see here. No, bro, it's fucking crazy. Sometimes you do it at the same time in the same spot and it doesn't work. That sucks. <laughs> Why does everything have to be like that in this game? There's like a, it's either, I think it's a very nuanced timing. Oh fuck. It's not right when the worms appears. It's like right before he's about to appear. That was a little too early. I think it's like a millisecond after he crosses over Link when he flies through the air. Yeah. Oh! What just happened? Emulator bugged out or some shit. What the fuck? Ah, let me back in. God damn it. I don't know why the fuck that happened. No, I swear there's like extra lag sometimes and he avoids your perfect spin, I swear, dude. Maybe it's like two milliseconds after he passes over Link. And right before he appears, actually. Oh, he like ate my he ate my spin slash right there. Did you see that? Oh, the game is. What the fuck? Playing the game right glitches the emulator out. If that crashes during a run, bro, oh my god, I'm gonna have to like switch emulators and shit. This sucks. Why is that crashing? <sighs> Nothing crashed during a run. Maybe it's a save state thing. Is he dead already? We'll put a delayed bomb because he doesn't ever seem to open up his eyes right away. We'll do more of this left and right and per try to perfect jump bullshit. No.
No. Oh, quit wigging out, bro. <laughs> oh my God. How did I beat this in a fucking run? The world may never know. What? Glitchy ass fucking douchebag. Some pixel fucking asshole. Fuck that guy, he always gets me, bro. I forget that he comes sneaks at you like a bitch right away. He, if you don't hit him right away, he's a fucking annoying. Because you probably have to switch to the rocks feather to get him really. I don't know if that's if it's even called the rocks feather. Okay. I'm gonna keep calling it that because I like it. Get our rocks feather and pray to fucking Jesus R in Jesus, basically. Oh. Get back up there. Now you waste time right away anyway. It's like your thing. Fucking douche. This guy. I don't think these arms are easier to dodge when he's like this. <laughs> it's him way harder to dodge. They're, the hitboxes are crazy. <clears throat> Why is this fight so unbullshittable? It's. Ridiculous, bro. This way, I'm gonna need a fucking safety for this shit, Jesus. No! Run over. Dude. If you miss the dash on him by like a millisecond, it's like the worst thing ever. I'm dead for sure. I never believe what speedrunners say. They got this shit mapped out 500,000 times. When they say shit's easy, it's not fucking easy.
you please take a couple bombs once? The bombs don't do anything. I did no damage. Fucking A, dude. Easier to dodge. That's <laughs> not easier to dodge. Maybe on a D pad. Maybe on a D pad, it's a little bit easier. Fucking speedrunners and their dumbass tutorials. You gotta watch a guy like me who actually learns it himself. These guys stared at somebody's run a thousand times and tried to copy him. That's all they got good. This has to be perfectly timed here. Man. And he's about to kill me, man. I, I wish there was something other, other trick I knew to make this guy easier. I fucking hate this guy, dude. This guy killed my fucking run. They just jump over his arms like it's so easy. It's not working like that for me. I don't think these bombs are doing anything either. Guy said something about bombs and they don't do nothing. Why? Oh, sometimes he just gives you freebies. The arms ain't hitting you, you're doing the same damn jumps and you get four arrows off a couple times because you're lucky. Jesus Christ, this fucking boss. At least I have some chance at doing this in a run now. Are you dead already? I don't understand this guy. I think we're a little slow. I hope I always get that guy. I fucking hate that guy. I want to beat Deathel probably, just barely, with a sick-ass finish. But that guy had me so fucking injured, dude. No! Oh! Okay, now we put a bomb. I'm just trying to figure out if these bombs do anything. This could be, like, just making me worse at the fight. Maybe you can YOLO bomb arrow at the end? I don't know. Sometimes he's just free, bro. Let's see if we can get the cool guy ending at least, right? Watch this shit. Yeah. And then we split right now. I split it a little late in my first run. It's all gravy, because the ending looks sick. Well, let's go. We at least made some progress, but frustrating. <laughs> For sure. But at least we'll get some grindage out of this game instead of getting that PB too quickly.
Alright. And then we just randomly get the... I have to go research what to do here. Oops. I guess we're doing one damage to him. Good enough for me, I guess. Okay, that's our powder. And we boots it up. This part's easy. I think I got this down now. I don't know why it was... I guess I just really needed to do it. That's all. That is kind of exciting that death will it can fuck you up even... Somehow, even if you're really good, it'll just like... Go all crazy and fuck you up. Definitely add some suspense. This one's gonna be a blue ball. But hopefully not this one. Can't believe I got zero BBs in my run. Okay, I'm all and I don't know how to time this now. Got lucky. He's going now. And I was a little late for a very, very, very important day. And you're a douche. <laughs> That's how you beat that guy. You just gotta remember that he's a douche. I'm gonna keep trying this bomb shit. Even if it ruins one of my runs because it makes it so super slow, like whatever. I'll spend all day in this menu. I could have sat in this menu for 10 minutes and watched an, uh, an episode of an anime and still got a PB, bro. I'm fucking mad. I'll let the ego beat me again. Oh, these diagonal jumps seem to be helping, but it, eventually he's just going to wreck me either way. You can just dodge on the first... Before it, oh no, that's not too bad. But I think I'm gonna get hurt if I don't buffer jump. Wish I knew if these bombs were doing something, bro. Uh oh, <laughs> the buffer jump is actually super good, bro. Finish him up a bomb ass. <laughs> he threw a bomb at him somehow. How does that happen? I'm mashing it like a motherfucker. Whatever. I don't know why I'm even mad about it. Okay, you just Mike, you just hold up and left. Why do you gotta make it seem hard in your head? And if I just did that training before we got that run somehow, I probably wouldn't have got it such a good run. It would be like a mental thing. Because I'd be like, oh, I'm warmed up on the final boss, and then I like couldn't get the run to go. Right. Alright, one, one more win on this motherfucker. I'm out of, out of here for this training. Mr. Easy Man in the boots. I don't want to time anything, I just want to slice. 
don't trust this game. I trust Link to the Past timing. Ew. I don't know if there's any type of a good play in dodging those, but I don't want to. No. I like these. No, bro, he got me. I fucking suck. Douche. I swear that guy comes out at ran slightly random times. Maybe not. Hey, remember the diagonal jump, brother. Brother Mike. Diagonal, 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 diagonal. Well, that wasn't good. Ran into the body, it's okay. Bomb ain't doing shit. Just wasting your time. Oh, what the fuck? Was that? Okay, dude, you can't mash with the rocks feather at the end or it might goof up your run. Okay, one more. I need to feel like I'm not gonna fucking lose good runs of this shit. Uh, I always forget what to do. No! What are you doing? Trying to get up real close to him for these two, but not close enough to get hit, I think. Into these corners. I'm just making shit up. One of these times it's gonna work. There it is. Here he comes. Growing big. No. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, 
I gotta do a diagonal when I do that. No, that was kind of good to that accent. I forgot the fight was going. I was trying to learn something about the dash attack. Okay, diagonal jumping, Mike. This is what they didn't tell you in the speedrun that you learned yourself. You're better than them. You're better than no. Oh, I'm just kidding. They're way better than I am. No. It was a lie. I was trashed the whole time. No. Well, shit. I'm gonna come here and not have enough arrows one of these rounds. Some enemy pissed me off and I spammed arrows at him. No. Piece of shit. Diagonal jumping. Can you just... Jesus. Why does it gotta go like that? Eat my bombs, dude. I'm almost, almost out of arrows, dude. What the fuck? I hate this fucking boss. See, now I can't stop doing them because I'm going to lose runs to them. Just a never-ending battle against Dethel and his army of assholes. Can I throw this bomb if I don't? <clears throat> and I'll do one damage to him, precisely. When I mean, you can kill him with that, but I just don't know how. You dead for some reason. Somehow I'm doing one damage to you. Fucking death all. I wish I knew a way to make sure I had more arrows against them. I'm gonna go check Dungeon 8 and see if you can, like, double grab those arrows for some reason. I don't think you can, but maybe you can. Here comes the bad, the bad one. He dead? Does he really die that fast? You growing big now? Oh, I was late. Yeah, you have to diagonal dodge with that guy. Oh my god, you would have to diagonal dodge with that guy. Okay. I hope these bombs are doing something. Run into the body all you want, Mike. You can literally do it like 14 times. The bomb does something. Oh my god, the bomb does something. I'm gonna use so many bombs. No! I ran into the body, it's okay. No! Oh. Why would you ever do that, you fucking moron? Yeah, run into the body some more, Mike. It's good for you. Keeps you out of trouble. <laughs> yeah, touch the body. Don't stop bombing him. Every last bomb. He's a douche. No, you should touch the body, you moron. No, you can't. No! Why did I do that again? You fucking idiot. I'm better than this. Why am I so stupid right now? Touch the body. Yeah, touch the body, Mike. Touch the body, baby! Fucking asshole, dude. 
Wouldn't get any. He wouldn't let me do nothing with those bombs. Let's go. We got this fight way cleaned up, baby. Oh, I drank all my juice on accident. I even got like a god tier catfish maw. I killed the boss in like a quick little three cycle thing. It was like the fastest I ever killed him. Hook shot of the heart. I was all happy with myself, bro. Whatever, I'm happy that I'm just getting Goomba stomps and runs already. I feel like a boss. And now we are getting this fight kind of down. Like, there's at least hope now. <laughs> there was no hope in the in these other ones. My hand's getting kind of tired, though, so I gotta take a break soon. I'm gonna do some research after this, too. Super nerd. <coughs> Alright, it's gonna be three hits, maybe. Oh, did he die up there? Oh, you actually have to keep slicing him. That's weird. I was just doing that for fun. Alright, he's dead. I could fast forward this part. For the sake of training. Oh, but then I'd forget to manip my corners. Watch this minute. He wants he wants the brown balls now. He wants to give it to me. I had enough blue balls, baby. Give me them poopy balls. Sick of the blue ball. Yeah, baby. Poopy ball. We're getting them big PBs, baby. We're gonna be the best box player in the world. Give us all the balls you want, man. I'll get a zero blue ball running with you again, you motherfucker. Watch this shit. You dead. Watch how fast he died. Okay, watch this diagonal dash. I'm not gonna mess up. I messed it up. I went too far, I think. And I did it at the wrong time. It's better just to stay up there than get hit at a weird... No! Watch this guy. He's fucking weird. I got lucky. I didn't know what he did in the run, so I guess I made it harder. Okay. Bombs and diagonals, man. That's all there is to it. That bomb's not gonna do anything. Probably should have waited. This bomb might do something. Probably not. I think we have him for sure now because we bombed him so many times. Yeah. I knew there was a way to trivialize him. Let's go. Whoever had that bomb tip, that he, he, he mentioned it as a joke, but for noobs like me, that's what we need. Oh, you can, like, shoot an arrow without losing time. Oh, arrows are actually super sick because of that. Like, more fun than Link of the Past. Man, this game confused with Link of the Past and then brought into, like, the modern age with some... Whatever the fuck they could do with 2D graphics in the modern age would look so, would be so good, bro. And they had like cool mechanics, like jumping and stuff. I would pay fucking a hundred dollars a year. <laughs> I would sub subscribe to that shit, dude. All right, we the masters now. Feeling good now. I was feeling like shit after losing that run, but we can do it. We can do. It.
Two dead are in. I want to see him take four shots, but I don't ever want to stop trying to do these early damages either. And I thought there was no use for the magic powder in the room. I know I'm going to lose a run to the fucking fire skip because I don't want to practice it. Big man grow big. And douchemen come alive. Diagonals. This is the trick. See, watch with Mike. This is how you learn shit, bro. You watch with Mikey. Oh, the arms are going at weird speed. Oh, this guy is so fucking weird, dude. The arms, like, lag some. Look at them. They're, like, glitching everywhere. They don't even know what the fuck they're doing. I knew you were about to open it right at an inconvenient time. That's what you love to do. Highly recommend the, the buffered method, because you could easily use this buffered method to get damn near a sub-hour run. Don't lay the bomb when the eyes open, though. Maybe sometimes that'll do a little damage. Now we can run into the body, I think. The body. <laughs> I must die there. I'm still getting hurt. Goddamn, leave me alone. Kidding. I wasn't kidding. Smash the arrow button in the last text box and you're good. Let's go. That wasn't very solid, but we did it at least. We're getting some sense of when we can YOLO. I don't want to stop doing this fight, dude. I gotta do that Armos fight. Is he going to take four this time? I don't know how I damaged him. I didn't even know what I was doing. Maybe he just takes three. I'm glad you can spam, bro. No, dude. It took so long to come from down there. Jeez. 
Ball man of douche. That was a little bit early. Or a little bit later. Get it together, Mike. Get it together. Alright, diagonals. Don't give up on them diagonals. I don't want to stand on there too long. Though. All the ups and downs. Start with the diagonals and bombs ups and downs. Don't give up on the bombs, man. You're not good enough. He's a freak. You have to be an insane world record guy not to do use this shit. Could have laid a bomb there, bro. Probably would have worked out, too. He's feeling like he wants to open up, bro. Ow! He fucking destroys you. Oh, I hate you, Deathle. I fucking hate you so much. You fucking douche. Should have been fucking that body harder. Stupid worm. It's all that worm's fault. Evil wizard. Fifty fifty my ass. Now when you can unmanip yourself into a fucking poopy brown ball. Clip yourself on this wall, that's what I wasn't doing. Duh. Okay. Safety strats. Don't forget the safety. It's okay, touch the body. We like touching the body. That's what life's all about. If I put it right away, maybe. Uh. 
Why does this guy seem like he's impossible if you don't douche him completely in the corner? They like really want you to have all the safety items or something. I'm gonna use every last bomb. Run into him until eh, the death of me, if that's what it takes me. That's the attitude you gotta have with this motherfucker. That's why his name Death. -o. Now we don't ever wanna get hit by the armor. We better just, better just to run into him. Not the arm, Mike. Not the arm. Scary. <laughs> That's not how we like to see it end. Oh, God. <laughs> you finish him and you beat him, but you didn't really ever feel like you beat him. I knew how to fuck this guy up. See, it works. No, I'm just clip. One picks a lot of the clip. Yep, I'm gonna nip that shit, dude. Fucking gonna nip that shit. Is he dead already? That really were that easy? What was that blank shot I got on? Oh, so if you can somehow see that first bat and dodge him, that is the play. Okay. No! <laughs> I hate this fucking guy, bro. You we, like, need the rocks feather to make him not fuck you up. Again, his arms offset like that normally. Maybe the more you fuck him in that corner, or the more with the bombs and stuff, the more he like gives you those dummy arms. Oh my god, this guy! I 
Well, I think we're good to do runs. I wish I could figure out that jelly guy, but... At least, like, you get to, to see the magic powder in the run a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, that was my training session. That was mostly it. If I can just practice rooster skip a little bit. Those are my big time losses. And the Armos Knight fight guy, it would be nice if that guy went well for sure. Like if I had a solid strat for that guy. Is this it? Yeah. We'll do this guy next. Let's see if we can beat Death a little with our skill, with our knowledge. Our low level of knowledge and skill on him. Oh, I wish I could do that in a run. But now I have, like, no HP. Let's see if we can make it out of here, I guess. I almost want to carry the sword for these fucking jellies. What the hell? I thought you could go through that. No, I'm redoing that. I didn't realize that you had to like super clip that shit to go through. Bro, this is such a good way to kill him. Why does not more people talk about this? Oh, I messed up again. No, I need the sword for the damn jelly. I swear, sometimes that guy's all over you, though. Damn it, I didn't even get to... I didn't even get to check. How to get past that dude. Getting that clip with that fucking jelly there is so annoying, dude. This glitch is OP, bro. I don't even know if that glitch does that in, like, any other room. What the hell am I doing? be Gucci at this point because Dungeon 6 isn't that hard. HP wise. Kind of hate this fucking jump. Got it. I love it when it lands, baby. I've been missing this in the run, and it's been pissing me off. And then it's just so easy in practice. Fucking <laughs> annoying. Oops. Let 
me the bomb. Oh. I think that didn't happen in a run. I like my sword strat, I don't know. Care if it's an extra menu, man. Why is it so hard to th pick up the fucking bomb? Oh, there's a slight delay, so the first spams that I'm doing isn't aren't doing anything. That's why you have the slight delay of press. Alright, one more on this easy guy now. He's easy now. This guy used to be hard. All you need is the stupid fucking shovel glitch. And he's dead. I didn't aim this very well, and he's still dead. What a weird glitch. Love that shit. Now I don't have to worry about this fucking split so much. I should be able to kill this guy without getting hurt most of the time. Now if only I could do this area. I feel like I should just tank that. If I have to. I want to, but I feel like I should. I don't know how, how you're supposed to get past it. But you're supposed to like clip while you're... tanked or whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. You tank damage from the from the Zol or whatever his name is. Am I duping hearts or am I just imagining that? I don't know. Get him! The mutt! Oh, the water lags weird. That's why it was so hard for me. Watch this shit. Boom! Like the cutscene champion. If only I could get that in the top tier room. Are those wizard robes in there sometimes? What the fuck? Well, now that I trained my bomb pickups, we're good. Hopefully. And here I'm gonna just take the extra menus. Don't care. I'm not trying to be the best in the world, I don't care. We can jump over you, maybe. Just take one damage if we have to. Menu buffer right away to get us going here. Slight delay. Arrow spray him down, whatever. Four, even if you had to throw four at him, fuck him. He's a douche. And my combo here is not that. I wonder what the bomb trigger does in here. I don't know if it makes us go quicker or something. 
Wait, how did I break that one in the top? This game has so many oddities. Okay, let's see if we can do the cool strat here, eh? So we need a bomb. X marks the spot. Damn. I don't think we can use that many bombs. Yeah, aren't we like fuck? No. Oh. Yeah. We're just gonna do the cool tricks that everyone does. They like start jumping backwards and they're whoa! <laughs> Did I do it? I guess that wasn't it. I wish I could, though. I hate slicing that guy in a run. I don't know why. It gives me the jitters because he's weird to slice. Pretty hard to mess up that pot throw, at least. That's good. Oh, no, you're just working. This is, the, this is the story of this fucking spot right here. Oh, now you decide to work. After my run is dead. I think I was right. I just didn't get the quite the right jump. That one's it. Or maybe I didn't hold right all the way because I lost confidence. I really don't know. I forget what they equipped here. And that's the problem. Oh, yeah, bangle. Here, dash in here. I want both the hearts. I'm never gonna remember how to do this fucking shit here. Okay. Oh, that's cheating. That makes this room way easier. I could have avoided damage there if I was more caring for myself. Why do I. Why can't I do this one sometimes? I don't understand. Yeah, <laughs> I'll never understand. Like, sometimes it works as well. Let me out of here. Shoot, shoot. I don't care about you. You can damage me all you want, my man. Actually, that's not true at all. Guys, I think I may have fucked up. And our bombs were slow there somehow. I thought I was fast. Oh, I forgot to... Fuck. Jeez, that was scary. What am I even doing, though? <laughs> I get stuck running right this game. Let's kill this idiot when we're done. I need to make sure I don't take damage here. That's what I'm mad about. Oh, he went back up. Sometimes he does this. I got the glitch without... I got the glitch by... Sometimes you get the glitch by, like, pausing. You don't even need the shovel. It's weird. I'll take it. I think I could have used the shovel there if, if the glitch didn't, didn't come by itself. Oh. I'll take it. Come on. This place is so trolly. 
I'm glad I figured out that clip somewhat. That's pretty helpful. I think I'm gonna try that sweaty strat there, bonking him and then... I suppose waking him up and then touching the Zol and then praying to get through, I guess, is a good way. Why do I gotta make this dungeon so suspenseful, though? That's the problem. And these guys never help me out with hearts. Okay, never mind. I don't want to farm that guy, though. I only want to farm that one that's close. And he never gives me a heart. Maybe he will, like, some random run once. Oh, and here I... I don't need the sword, but it's kind of helpful to have it out. But yeah, I don't need that. No! It's one frame late, I swear. It's one frame late. I'm two frames early. I don't know if those are frames, but... I gotta work on my buffered jumps, because they're not actually that hard, but if you're not used to them, they can really feel awkward. Can we get this again? And you get a heart from that? That'd be so clutch in a run of mine. God, I hope I can get that. No whiz robes for me. Oh, I was just moving through that room too fast to see him. Up in this corner quick. I don't know how useful this is in this dungeon. Might be good if I could actually keep it, but this fucking orb is always on my ass. Oh. Uh, oh god. Here we go again. I'll take it. I hate that fucking move. No, oh, I fucking messed this shit up. I don't even know how to... How do you... How are you supposed to do this? I guess I'm... I don't know. I guess... I'm supposed to switch... Oh my god, why am I holding my bomb and arrow there? I'm supposed to switch to sword and and bangle. Okay. Got to remember that because that's pretty important not to waste those bombs. Especially with this Wizzero room up here. I always forget how it's a douchey this room is. Where do I put this shit? I'll take it. I don't know if I did that right. And we get off of bombs, and we should be good on bombs if we grab the extra bombs later on. And what did we do before? We did like a... Okay, it doesn't always work, then. I don't know if that's a good way to do it. Kind of waste some time, because I'm not that good at those. And they're just harder to do, actually. Ah! Oh, what a dumbass! Okay, so you can grab that pot, like, straight from the left. That's good to know, at least. Oh, no. I think we got the, the jumper. The jumper cable. Bro, I don't understand. Why is this not working? Oh, if you if you do down and then you add the left, the right, and the left. <laughs> now I gotta remember to switch back to the sword because that can fuck me up here. No, I had it and I choked. 
Francisco. I wonder if jumping there is faster in some way if you do it right. What do I need here? Boots? What the fuck happens after this? Oh, boots and bangle. I remember now. This is why I actually needed grind segments. I'd be so much less trash. Get our hearts. We just move up here. I paused a little bit early, I think, but it might still work. And we menu cheap this kind of. Yep, like that. No damage. Add the down, add the left, the left or right after. Ooh, sometimes that happens with the best of us. Don't let it happen again, Mike. This is a pretty good run besides that. Ooh, sometimes that guy fucks you if you're not right up in that corner. That's annoying. He's going to kill one of my runs, I bet. Okay, get these bombs out there quick. Okay, we're good. Diagonal jumps, my guy. Just spam them. You might get it once or twice, but you're good. I gotta tell myself things, otherwise I just won't learn them. You know, like I'll do them sometimes in training, but I won't learn them. It's really weird. And I know it sounds weird kind of when I talk to myself like that. But I, I, I notice other runners kind of do that too, and it's like, they always end up being way better after they have that attitude, I guess. Well, nice. We really cleaned up these segments that I, so I think there is going to be a way to, for me to beat that time that I had without too much, too much, too much, too much trouble. You can't beat us forever, dude. What the fuck? Oh, it's restarting every time I pause? Damn it. Well, I guess that's good to learn that. No. <laughs> Why did I do that? Oh, I love fighting this guy now. <laughs> He's such a pain in the fucking ass if you don't know how to kill him. Ah! Miss input much. My boots charging. I don't know how much it really pays to practice this armo section, honestly. It's kind of just fucking random. Like sometimes waking him up is smarter. Sometimes bopping him. Sometimes he eats him right away for you and gives you an error. Who the fuck now? <laughs> See, waking him up was the smart call because for some reason he ate the motherfucker. And probably tanking that Zol would have been smart if. Oh, don't want that. I don't know how to skip that shit either. I gotta learn. Look at these eats. Do this in my PB, please. What the fuck? Good eats. I really don't need the health because I'm pretty good at this, and I might get health from that that stupid. Key and switch from the or the whatever. I can't talk. That's how you know I'm a nerd. Ah, this is the rock you want to grab, dude. And you you put your shit on the wrong fucking bind. What the hell? And these guys like always drop a fairy, right? Oh, can't even hurt them. Why do I have to go for the gold? Silver is better, man. Silver finishes the run. Gold dies and is unhappy with his life. Why is that just easy in practice? I had to fuck up my run. 
We have it. Eat that shit. I fucked up. I think I had to be a little bit lower with the jump so that I could turn up slightly afterwards. It's all good. As long as we get it sometime, or once in a while, I'll be happy. I like this game more than Link to the Past for some reason. It's just weird because I'm a Link to the Past guy. I wonder if it's like worth it to get that piece of power. Oh. oh! I just gotta press start and then press it again maybe? I don't know. I do know. Bro, I hate killing enemies with that when you're trying to farm them. I feel like that guy, you should just tank. There's a fairy here anyway, and this dungeon's easy, usually. Now it's like free, because I got that heart. All right, here we want sword, bangle. We want to do that properly there. No, it's not called a bangle, I just like calling it that. This room is so- if you don't go to this room first, try it's so fucking bad. Wait, is this different every time? At least the corner ones? I don't know. Can I get this again, please? So where do I gotta go? It's about one, two, two and a half squares below this part of the arrow. So you walk in, boop. You walk in, boop, something like that. And slice that one guy down in, at a weird way from like up here. And then get your feather on. Let's get out of here. Dude, how did that slice not get... Damn. I don't know why that's working for me. Hope it doesn't mess up a run. No. Yeah. <laughs> no! I want that bangle on for a second so I can get past this pot. Almost messed that up. I gotta remember switching the sword here. So hard for me to remember that. I wonder what happened then. Ugh. I hate when it's like this. Some pixel bullshit. Alright, that one was it. I don't know if just spamming sword there faster is gonna help me or not. Okay, jumping there is bad. Yeah, if I don't grind, I'll never be good because I'll just keep doing the same mistakes. I can never learn unless I do it do it like this. How do you get these? Like, why can't I pick this up? Oh! Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on. Oh, I love this room now. Oh, I love it. No way that happened. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's what happened, bitch. Can I get this? Let's go. Fucking hate that room. Yep, and you're in that corner, and sometimes the laser leaves you alone. It's either like this this dungeon's either too easy or it's fucking crazy. This damn face. Laughing in my face. And start in a weird spot. No, don't talk to pots, though, you dumb fuck. I also took too long to put that bomb in. It's not really one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi after the face disappears. It's more like one Mississippi, two Mississippi. And then you can put the bomb down. It's just scary, because if you miss it, you, you might die or lose a bunch of time. I actually like this sequence a lot now. It was fucking annoying before I knew all the nuances of, like, the pause buffering for the, for the Jesus water jump and then the cool way to open the, the key there that's hard to do. Or the cool way to open the dungeon, sorry. And then this fucking guy who was scaring me in my run, so he kind of like... I would just like play bad in the armo section because I was afraid of dying in this area. I'm not really afraid of dying here. Like, I'm all good here, watch. Easy. The shovel. I am the shovel knight. I could probably even get get to the... I could probably finish this whole dungeon and I'm like, that's how solid of a fucking runner I am already. I'm just, <laughs> I was resident. I'm trash. But it's fun to pretend you're good. God damn it. Eat them. They're assholes. I would grab that in a real run. Do, 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 do. But I'm a bitch, so I'm not gonna do that here. Do, 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 do. Jelly left us alone, bro. Get out of here. I don't need your arrows. I can stock up later. This pot is like begging to be thrown at this guy, though. I'm not gonna lie. I know it's not a pot. Except it's really hard to throw shit in this area, and that's what pisses me off. Nothing for me, man. Oh, it feels good to actually know what I'm supposed to menu to. Bullshit. Three. Nope, four. At least we're way better at this. That spot was giving me trouble before. I swear I'm doing that worse here. It's just working. Can I get this? Ooh! This disappears, though. That's sad. That'd be cool if you could keep it for like 30 seconds into the dungeon. That's the kind of update that would be sick for this game. Whenever there's any way to get that heart. Without... Do I just gotta kill that guy? Come on, next time I go through here, I'm gonna check. I gotta get better at slicing that guy if I'm gonna do this strategy. Not doing that too good. 
That hurts all we need, baby. Fuck those Goombas, they ain't gonna give a shit. What a bad vibe. See if we can do this. I hate doing that in the run, I'm not gonna lie, but it's so useful and keep makes makes the run so much more fun, I feel like. Oh my god, I hate doing this room wrong. That's it. I'm redoing this. I have to know I have to know how to do this room. Okay, I think it's idiot proof as long as you go in from the bottom and just hold and pray. Can Mike do it? Not you, not you guys. Anyone but you guys. I think I put that in the wrong spot too. Fuck! I think I found a better spot. Well, this is why we do practice. And then we just have to go like that. Oh, why did my jump do that? Bro, how does that not slice him? I'm mad. I don't know what's going on with those weird jumps. They're swaggy though, I'll give them that. fucked up. I don't know if I was partially clipped or not. Either. Now I am. Yeah, not doing that part of the sword is stupid. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, get that bangle on, bro. I lose time just to be a dumbass. Keep the bangle on for a second. Fuck you, I did that right. No way. I hate this spot. It doesn't make any sense. It's like you have to add the, di the right at the weirdest time, that's why. And anything else is a failure. Why is it so hard now? I wonder if it works better if I'm less clipped into the wall. Doesn't seem like it. It wants to, and then it just randomly works. That's why I hate that. Shit. It's probably why the, the super sweaty players have like a, their own weird little strategy that that's amazing for them. That looks very hard to mimic and shit. Oh god! No, I gotta redo. I forgot the bangle. Well, we get our two hearts up here. We have a chance. I like this room. It does me good. See what I'm saying? That wasn't good. Well, watch this, we won't even get hurt here. Fuck. Don't jump again.
Oh my god, that was scary. I fucking hate that guy. We gotta talk. It's, we're in the middle of a fight here. <laughs> I know there's gonna be some runs that go like that, bro. That's scary. Yep, the two Mississippi worked there for me, though. Face disappears. Count two Mississippi bomb. And then. Diagonal jumping doesn't work forever. It's like you, you do one and then you want to do some horizontal and vertical shit. I want to see that safety heart though, just in case. The run was really good and I had one heart there, it might actually be worth it. I'm just gonna do that, and then I'm probably gonna take a break. I think we're doing pretty good. Let's do one more little segment here, hopefully. Okay, bop you. Can we put out the shovel right now? Yeah, that's OP if you, if you stab him and then shovel. kind of hard on the timing, but it's a little scary because he might fuck you up. Sometimes that arm almost just like goes extra far. You guys have to beat me up like this every time. And I gotta wait for Bow Wow to do her thing. His thing? Oh, you can literally push this guy out but sometimes before Bow Wow is even gonna save you there. Is his name Bow Wow? I don't fucking Now we have like hella arrows right here. Okay, can we throw this right just once? I don't even want the item, I just wanna hit that guy. In case I really needed to. Three. Yep. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I love doing that with the buffer jump. It makes that room so much more fun. I think I messed something up here. No, oh, I guess I got it. Works for me. How much time does that even save? I don't know. Probably not much. I'm just doing it because it's cool. Alright, here's our prize, possible prize. No, I don't need it. Whatever. Oh. Guess there's no going in there. Alright then. So how do I do this? Something like that. I guess you can't really check without the mimic. Now the rest of this is kind of pointless. But... Oh, gotta remember to pick up the shit out of it. No! Oh, the laziness got to me. Okay, he comes back right away. Fuck. Now I actually have to play safe. And you won't have anything. They always give you gems when you need the when you need them most. I will take that heart though. And I will switch to the sword and the bangle. 
the bracer. If you like yourself some an uh, some. Uh, oh God! No, no, no! That we're not doing that. Hate this room unless you do it right. I'll literally do that in a run, dude. Waste time just to prove a point. And my own stupidity. Just mowing along. Can I please get this, dude? I'd be so happy if I could get this. I think I messed it up again. I put it too far to the right, I think. Okay, we got the bomb down. No, bro. That's like horrible. Damn, I thought this strat was gonna be sick. Now I gotta watch it on video like 40 times. I hate that again. That was a bad one. What the fuck did I just do, dude? Oh my god. You f No, I can't get it. <laughs> I wish YouTube wasn't so stupid I could watch other people's tutorials and not feel like I'm gonna get my channel deleted and shit. Cause that was a once in a million mistake there. And I'll never know why that happened. That's how speedrunning Zelda games is though. When it does that, I was like one frame away from getting it. I'll take it. Oh yeah, a half jump there kind of seems really good. My shit seems like it's all in the wrong spot. I think we're good here now. I like this dungeon because you can actually... It's so broken that you can actually get through it when you're low health and shit. Oh, I love this room now. That's how it always is, though. No, oh, that was dumb. I was even in the right spot. I got scared for like no reason. No, what the fuck, you? Should have counted. I just did it by like feeling instead of counting. Because if it, so if I do it by feeling, then I can look at the tiles. If I do it by counting, then it's hard for me to focus on the tiles and the, t the timing. That's oh, weird. Well, I guess that's pretty much it for our training session. I think once we do rooster skip and clean up, I'm never gonna match that fucking single round hothead fucking kill though, dude. Unless I get really lucky. Yeah.
Yeah, all the tutorials undersell how useful menu buffering is. Same thing with Link to the Past was like that too. Because you're either hearing it for some freakazoid who doesn't even need the menu buffers all over the run. They literally help with like every trick they help with the final boss. Something you probably shouldn't worry about unless you're literally world record potential. Or very near it. Just use your damn menus, learn all the tricks. Half the top runners fucking use menued and buffered strats for like their bomb triggers and stuff. easier you make the game with knowledge, the less you have to be fucking good at it. And the hardest boss is still the first boss. <laughs> now that we've figured out Deathel and bomb spamming him and diagonal jumping the beginning of him. And then body ramming him if you really have to. I mean, body ramming him with a bunch of bombs getting dropped is pretty foolproof. But it's tempting. Whenever you start body ramming, you, you forget about the bomb strategy and you just try to YOLO, though. We can find the right mix of YOLOing, not, and not too early, like when he still like has six shots, like when he has like for sure four shots left, then YOLO. Well, it was nice playing for you guys. Hope you all learned something and got a little bit of my speed run learning process. I might not be the best runner, but I feel like I learned games pretty well and pretty quickly. And I pick up a lot. I, I always find the right mix, I feel like, of top tier strats and safe strats. That makes my runs pretty strong. I feel like that's what's good about me as a speed runner. Now, if I could stick out learning the obnoxious sections a little bit more and then I'd be really good. Okay, we'll do we'll do a rooster skip. I'm not going to do another run until I've done like a rooster skip and a death all in a row or something. That's going to be my, like my requirement to start runs is always doing those two things back to back without failing one of them. Um, I th is there anything else I should do that with? That's what I'm wondering. Low-key lava flame skip. Or actually something in the 8th dungeon, like... Just the, just the beginning of the 8th dungeon, if I can make it through that part. So I should do that part. Deathless. I bet that would be... See, I'm, that's what I'm good at. Because I can, like... I can make really good training routines for myself to like get the most out of it. So I'm only training like a small part of the game, but because it's p the perfectly what I need, it makes it makes me appear like better than I am. You know what I mean? Because I was able to perfectly pick the exact problem areas, if that makes sense. There's a lot of p words, but all right. What was I doing? Rooster. So we do this. I'm not gonna do the boss right now, but that's that's gonna be like the training routine. I don't know, there might be some other, even like Catfish Mom might be like, like if there's a dungeon to grind, that's a good one. That one, maybe a little bit of Dungeon 8. Some of the cooler tricks of it. <laughs> that's not my fault. I just forgot what 
My menu button was like an idiot for a second. All those damn menus. It's it's not because I can't do the menu good, it's because my mind is busy like remembering select because select is actually useful in this game. And also like being good at save saving and quitting is like a big part of the game actually. I get to use so many spots. Oh, I did that on accident. Damn it. I fucked up, dude. That would have been sick if I, I did, I unbuffered, or if I, if I had clutched that. That's the kind of clutch I want to get in a run, but it's too scary, bro. Let me, uh, save state this way. I can do this. I don't know why I choke it. This shit just makes you, it just racks your nerves. Like, this isn't even hard. It's literally like such a free, cool trick. What's hard about it is, I don't know right there if I'm supposed to spam the hook shot or if I'm supposed to time it. And that's what, that's like the only thing that's stopping me from getting this shit. Because I've done both to su with success and I've failed both as well. Now that would be depressing in a run. It's like 20 seconds lost for like nothing. You want to wait for this pause and it's annoying to wait for this pause. And then my fingers always forget how to save and quit like here, like of all places. <laughs> Because they're under pressure to, to perform. I'm going to start spamming the hookshot there. I don't care. I've lost too many attempts to trying to time in the second one. I'll time. I'll try to time the first one. The second one I'm just going to spam. There might be a better way or a safer way, but I'm going to try this. Alright. We touched the corner, so we're going to get this for sure. Ah! Can I save this? Nope. I think I should have spammed my jump button there. I might have or, or my hook shot too, actually. So if I ever mess it up like that, try to save it with a selector or a start or something. Oh, I wish I was good at this. Oh my god. Damn it, I should have spammed. I thought maybe it would just work. And that probably would have been a cool save if I spammed it. That's the kind of shit I gotta get good at. Saving ones that are a little awkward. This trick is just begging to be awkward. What the fuck? Damn it. No, bro, I was fucking... Should have just spam jump, I would have been good. Maybe. It's so hard to save and quit there, dude. It's so nerve-wracking. I can't get my fingers to do it. When it's... When the fucking hookshot is smacking against the wall as fast as it fucking can. Now my positioning is fucking horrible. It's like, just fucking get it for sure, bro. If you hold select a little too long, it like auto closes out and it's fucking annoying. Let's go. I 
That's not how you want to fall down the hole. I don't know what to switch to here. Like in my rooster, I come over here. I go on this long, treacherous path towards misery. If it wasn't hard enough to do rooster skip, I gotta go do a whole dungeon that involves tricks in like every room. It's also low-key one of the funnest dungeons because of the Goomba Stomp and the cool super jumps. Okay, I gotta dash through there. I think I'm gonna bonk and then jump there. I think that worked, but I forgot to do it. Dash in here. Oh, that's kind of good. I don't think I want the leaf here, though. I forget what I want. I think I want the boots. Yeah, I want the boots now. Maybe. Never really know for sure. Alright. Alright, let me go over here. Oh, I wanted the bangle. The boots don't save any time. I don't know how this cutscene skip works at all. Okay, back to Rooster Town, though. That was scary. Okay, we got the hook shot. Oh my god. I'm gonna come in there and fall down the hole one of these times if I keep doing this shit. It's like turn my brain off and keep spamming. It's like, it's over, dude. You did the trick. Alright, let's get it one more time for now. And I'm out of here. Jesus, why does that have to be so close over there? Uh oh. <laughs> why do I have to make this so close? And scary as fuck. Yeah, spamming the hookshot here seems really good. Famous last words. Is that. Am I done? Did I fuck up? I'm so dumb, bro. I didn't even get to see if that was gonna work because I, I accidentally hook shot instead of doing. It's like, bro, you have it. You already did everything hard. Like, just finish it. Why do you have to be so fucking stupid? Damn. No, I don't spam the hook. This is why we need practice. <laughs> I know what to do, and I just can't put all the pieces together. Good jump. Good soup. Uh-oh. No, I got the jump! <laughs> I got the jump! I guess I gotta hold down. Oh, man. Gotta go hold down left there if I wanna spam jump and hook shot. Wow. That was the first time that happened in a long time. That can't be faster. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
SpaghettiOs. Can we clutch it up for once? I don't care how many buffers it takes, my man. Let's go. Now I can't get enough. I need this to go right in the room, goddamn. Oh! Choked on the control stick. Need a new controller, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bad. That's not good. Damn, dude. That's how you lose a run? That's crazy. And I probably would have had a chance if I just spammed hookshot upwards for a second. I got to wait a little bit. No. Yes. Learn how to save yourself, my, my precious speedrunning boy. This is the clutch we needed in the run that wasn't there at all. <laughs> Okay, we got the free hook shot. This is kind of bad, but not too bad. That was perfect. Let's go. Okay, we're looking better at that too. And then, what was the other thing I said? Oh, uh, flame skip, and there was one other one. Flame skip? Oh, I know. Okay, I got the perfect training routine for me. The, the fucking ghost room and bottled grotto. Deathel. Rooster skip. Flame skip. And then the beginning of Dungeon 8. With the book shot and that stupid flame jumping room where I might die in. So if I do that training, I guarantee you, like, I'll seem like I'm way better just from pinpointing the, my weakest links real quickly early on and then actually figuring them out. That's my goal is to, like, I'm not trying to be the best in the world, but I want to see how many games I can do and how good I can be with the least amount of effort and the most amount of knowledge and skill building, you know what I mean? Try to make the most of each little gaming session instead of just playing aimlessly like I always I always did my entire life, you know. Now I wish there was like another rooster skip in the game of some kind that was maybe a little different, that'd be sick. Or there was like a two part gap, so you only you had to do you know. That'd be really cool. Maybe for like one of the keys that you don't even get to. Or a cool item that helps with the blast boss and is also necessary for whatever hacked run I'm, I'm describing. I do want to run more, but I feel like I'm going to PB pretty quick. So it's like, why? I mean, I was ahead by 20 minutes. I could, if I knew where the arrows were, I could probably redo the last boss, but no clue. Surprised I drank all my juice. I'm running on cloud nine. This game's got me uh, set up to have good vibes. I just gotta not fuck it up anymore. Ever since I started playing this game, it, it had me excited to like 
do all types of things that I normally am, you know, dreading or, or worried that I won't succeed at. This game is great. Fast forward to like me losing another run somewhere. I hate this game. This game is shit. It was kind of funny how many different places I had to f go to find the, all the info I needed, though. Because some people only got high-level tips that are really good for that are only good for really good players. Some people don't give any low-level tips. Some people give a good mixture of both, but they might t not tap on the. It might have been a short tutorial, like the one that was at AGDQ. It's a good tutorial, but it's for a different category. But it, it does help with this category a lot. Because he explains a lot of rooms that some other tutorials didn't really g didn't really give me a good idea on. But yeah, there's a lot of different tutorials for this. They're just kind of like hidden and buried and stuff. So that was kind of my goal with the beginning of this game was try to make it a little less buried, the secrets to the game and everything. Obviously, there's still some crazy shit that I can't do, like the dongo skip and some naked super jumps and stuff. But I think... Um, I will be able to do the dongo skip after a bunch of runs and I, if I can ever figure out and get a feel for the how many kills I need for the fucking piece of power. I feel like then I, then I would have a chance at the dongo skip at least. It seems impossible for me without it. I don't know. Maybe it's you have to be insanely good. I'm not sure. But with it, it's, it's not so bad. At least when you're warmed up. That's the problem is like you warm up at it, but then you start the runs up and you only do that room for like a second. That's the problem. So you have to be like, as good as I am getting at rooster skip, you have to be like 10 times better at Dodongo skip to actually do it in a run, which is what I'm, the point I'm trying to get across. So I think what I'm going to start doing is kind of sacrificing a little bit of time out of my run just to go for it once. And then just do it, killing the Dodongos or whatever, if it doesn't work. So that's what I'm going to do. Because it might at least get me started on piece of power routing. So it's a little bit of a sacrifice to my runs. But it, in the long run, it hopefully it'll get us better at the game. And the piece of powder, piece of powder, piece of power routing. I don't know if there's another good piece of power that you can route in. I'm sure there's like one more or something. If I pay closer attention to the world record and some of the other top runs, maybe I can figure that out. That's another thing. It's like, if you listen to me at the end of my journey, I'll, I'll have like revealed all the secrets pretty easily, but good luck just going to one other person and having them so readily available. That's all I'm saying. I suppose it could it could be worse though. There's there's at least a good a good amount of support legacy support for this game when people used to like love it a lot during its like prime speedrunning days while they were finding a bunch of glitches and stuff. It's actually there's some fun videos. There's like this weird unlisted video I found that was like a guy describing the history of the speedrun and it was actually a good video. I don't know why it was unlisted or I think it was unlisted. Kind of weird. It was like it had a lot of views and it was unlisted. I don't even know how I found it. It was, it was really weird. Um, but yeah, I think that was pretty much it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the Link's Awakening journey. We we uh, finished our first run. We lost a, a really good one, and now we're set on course to try to beat that really good one. So, or that yeah, and um. It's funny how many things went right in that run, though. It's kind of weird. Like, stuff that I never did right before just happened to go right, you know what I mean? There was still some spots that I didn't like the slop, though, you know? I gotta get better at, like, short super jumps and stuff, because there's a lot of spots where that can waste, like, 30 seconds or more, because you're struggling to get the short super jump quickly the short ones are really hard because um there's not much blood to f no I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go there 
The short ones are hard because... They're just hard. <laughs> the timing of them is hard. You gotta hold back against the wall or the ledge or whatever you wanna call it. That's a wall and a ledge in this game. And for some reason, when you do the short one, it might be easier on D-pad, I really don't know. I'd like to try. That could be something. If I could, if there's like something I could do on the D-pad, and that's why I can't do it, is because of the box controller. Maybe I should try. Then I need to buy another USB-C cable so I can have the box controller and the and the whatever controller I use plugged in at the same time. Though it's always something. Might be worth a shot though, or it might just kind of be fun to play a different play with a controller for a while instead of a box controller. Maybe it would help me get a different take on, like, death also. I could understand it better with a D-pad or something. I don't know. No, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Whatever. I can't believe I wasted a run... A pretty good run, too, with a gold split for the first one, I think. I wasted it fucking... Or maybe I'm wrong about that. But I wasted it <laughs> trying to do fucking Dodongo skip, and then I just soft-locked and reset. It was so stupid. It was, like, such a waste of 20 minutes or whatever. Yeah, that skip... Without really good knowledge of the piece of power routing, like, I feel like that skip is super stupid to do. Maybe it, like maybe it's a little bit better on controller. I don't know. Definitely gonna at least give it a shot. But that'll be a fun project. I'll do that next. So the, the footage you see after this, if you keep watching in, in order, is gonna be me on it. At least somewhat on a controller, checking out some stuff, seeing if I can make something easier, or make something, f or or just use it as like a learning tool. Anyways, that's my Link's Awakening DX days. We got a couple more big grinding days ahead of us. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to get it the time I want. It shouldn't take more than a month or two at tops, and it might even be done in a few days. I don't know. It really all depends. And I don't really care how long it takes because I like this game. Oh, I know I'll get bored of it eventually, but I'll, I'll have long gotten a, a good, a decent time by then. Oh, the other room I got to practice is that stupid Wizard Robe room. Because I don't want to waste bombs and arrows at all on those fuckers. I don't care how hard the, the positioning of that bomb is. I want to figure that room out. So that's what I'm going to do... I'll probably write down that, take notes. After we're done running this game, I'll be picking up Oracle of Seasons, playing some casual stuff, and then learning the speed run. Should be a action-packed set of months here. Things have been going really good for me, so I just want to kind of keep keep the ball rolling while they are, you know? Or, you know, keep my brown balls rolling. They call me Captain Poopy Balls, the number one speedrunner extraordinaire. Nerd, Nerd Dowski, they call me. I don't know how much interest I have in that crazy category of this game. It's more fun to watch, I feel like. But maybe it would be fun to, like, do that category mixed with the color dungeon. Because that category doesn't have that many hearts, so if you get the color dungeon, at least you have a slight safety. And then maybe you could... I don't know. I might make my own category just for fun. With my own rules. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I don't really like their category that much. I suppose by the time you learn all those crazy skips, though, or you could even do some of them, you probably would be able to beat Deathle with only a couple hearts. But 
still that that's it's still you know you, you never know like Ganon might hit you with a bunch of fire bats you might get blue balled out of four hearts you might die because of blue balls I don't I don't feel like that category is for the faint of heart it's for like Link's Awakenings extraordinaire you know like crazy motherfucker who need that that level of challenge And nobody even runs that shit anymore. So, th so I, I no offense, but I would argue that that shit's kind of dead. It was like only popular when this game was popping off at AGDQ and all the glitches were coming out and stuff. And the route kept changing. So I, I don't know. Nothing. I think that category is sick. Don't get me wrong. It's just that would definitely be the second category I, w I would want to do. I'm not that interested in the no save and quit one. Maybe eventually I'll just I'll do it as a casual. Just to have another experience with this game, but... Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, Chief. It was fun getting all those golds in a row. I was waiting for that. I guess it happened pretty quick. I'll probably be back uh, after, you know, later today or tomorrow. Continuing the journey. I want to play some other games because I've been kind of absorbed into this too much, I feel like. It's like with Link to the Past or Halo or other games where I just get, like, way too into one game and then I it's hard for me to, like, break free and have fun with other stuff again. And, and that's what I want to work on. I just got DNF Duel for free from Epic Games. I was thinking about playing that game on casually alongside the other fighting games I'm going to play soon. I might play that League of Legends one a little bit, too, just to see if there's anything I like in it. Maybe it's got cool parries or something. I know I'm not going to like the input method, because it's too easy. But it might have something that I like. So I don't want to, like, not give it a shot at all. <laughs> just because I'm against League of Legends. That juice got me the juice burp, so drink too much juice. Or vegetable juice, or whatever you want to call it. Um. Yeah, it, <laughs> it, every moment that I think I'm starting to get bored with this game, I actually start to enjoy it more and like look forward to practicing these segments. I didn't think that was gonna happen with this game because I'm I'm ha I'm on the fence with Link to the Past. I was I was definitely like that back in the day, but now that we're ten years later, ever since that game's that. Obviously, it's Prime was back in the day when people first went from, like, 129 down to 124. Anyone saying anything else is an idiot. And I'm not saying Rando is bad. Rando is sick. I love the Rando. I want to get into that a little bit down the road, too, for, ca for just for... Not to take it serious, but just to have some fun. But... With Link to the Past, I feel like... It's a game that deserved a bunch of six speedrunning ROM hacks. Well, this game does too, but... At least there's, like, some other stuff to do if you like this game. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you can do the rando, but you could also make your own category. There's a color dungeon. There's a, a few ROM hacks that are extra d difficult that you could learn to speedrun those. Doesn't seem like anyone's really done that. There's Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages. They got differences in their routes. You could do one or the other or both. Or like one category from one and one category from the other. There's at least some... And these are just Game Boy Color games. You know what I mean? Link to the Past deserves like more content. <laughs> That's just straight up how it is. And the thing... When Link to the Past doesn't have his glitches, it... it it turns in from a fun speedrunning game to like really casual. I feel like with this game, with the jumping and the cool items and the item switching, and the menu buffering, and there are still some tricks I've seen in, in seasons where you can do like some crazy little skips. So I mean, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it might not be as glitch heavy and as as this game. This game's like a fucking miracle from Jesus. But that doesn't mean. That it's quite as dull as Link to the Past without glitches, you know what I mean? As far as speedrunning goes, don't get me wrong. I like Link to the Past. I would love to... I'm, I'm actually going to play... I think I'm going to play Parallel Worlds. Because I really want to just... 
get good at some like sort of Kaizo Zelda kind of games. So that's why I was thinking about playing the Master Quest version of this, and then playing the Kaizo or not. I was a Kaizo game. The like parallel worlds and and the and the other hard link to the past games like first casually and then maybe like a casual speed run as well where i don't take it as serious as i do with it like like I, with this game i like clearly i was serious from the beginning i like was learning all the tricks right away doing little practice segments watching videos like crazy you know what i mean but with the other with those other games like it would be kind of fun to do it more in a chill way i feel like at first at least so that's some of the stuff I was thinking about. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to head out. That's about all the commentary I want to do for today. I hope you guys are doing well. As always, folks. Um, I'll be back soon with some high-intensity runs. Hopefully we can get a clutch rooster, rooster egg skip. I already know I'm going to mistime my hook shots and not spam the right button, but god damn it. One of these times, I'm going to get a good run with a, with no fail on the rooster skip. And that's what we're going for. And you know, if that's the last normal run I do of this category for a while, that's okay. I don't like getting too picky where it's like, I need my run to be perfect and it needs to be super close to the world record. And all, all the bosses need to be quick killed. And some of them are, ran are partially random, so that's not even feasible. You know, I don't, I don't like getting like that. I like getting pretty good at the game and having fun, you know. That's what it's all about for me. If there was crazy, insane money or crazy tournaments or a really thriving community for the game, active, streaming it all the time, I'd, I'd think about doing it differently, but, you know. Or like some really good ROM hackers, always active. I'd rather put my time into ROM hacking something that I could speedrun and somebody else could enjoy, you know. That's why I try to not get too stuck into any game. Like, I had to force myself to quit Link to the Past, and then after I get a decent time in this, I'm going to have to force myself to to do other stuff, too. I don't want to fully quit this game, because I really like it, so... But I am going to have to do other stuff. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to abandon the Link to the Past skill I have right now. It kind of sucks because I just got good at Ganon and I was pretty much set up to get my goal time. But it is what it is. I can always relearn it. And if this game is actually making me better at stuff, then it should pay off, you know. Now, imagine Link to the Past with a rock's feather that worked like this game. That'd be so fun. And then, like, a combo of glitches from that game and this game. So you could do, like, super jumps from this game, and then you could do, like, item dashes and some other cool glitches from Links of the Path. I feel like there's so much potential with these Zelda-like games and platformers as well that just goes under appreciated. You need, like, a top-tier developer to take it serious, but they won't do it. You need Nintendo really taking the speed running seriously and the com and the competition and the, and the crazy mechanics and everything and the crazy inputs and everything. They won't take that side serious and I feel like that's why we're not getting getting what we want, you know. And we have to resort to loving great old stuff and, and searching for new things and creating our own things. I do wish I knew more about this game. Like, it would be fun to play it casual. I just don't know if I can force myself to do it because I've spent so much time speedering and early. Just because it'd be cool if there was, like, a couple little safeties I didn't know about or, you know. Some reason maybe I would want to do a different category that takes longer. Cause it's because there's this cool site well, like the Canelot Castle or something like maybe it'd be fun to it to like do this run but you have to visit that castle instead I don't know maybe not maybe it's just a snooze fest
Yeah, I think that's it for me, guys. It was nice talking to you. For some reason, my room's really hot, so I can't... I was going to talk for a little bit longer and just ramble on, but... I want to dip out of here now. Yeah, it would be kind of cool if there was a, another way to, like, practice rooster skip. Maybe I can do that. Like, I'll just go to some random pits and see if I can kind of copy how rooster skip works and just use it for extra practice. So maybe that I could have a better chance at clutching up rooster skip if something goes wrong. I hope one time, like, I just give up and I just start spamming it and somehow between a combination of hook shots and jumps, I, like, make it over there. I hope that happens eventually, but I feel like I'll get too used to the pause buffered method and I'll always do it. I wish I, sometimes I'm like really confident and I can save and quit at the right time. And then other times I somehow I'm just like a couple frames late. I wish I could always hone in on that perfect time where you only got a buffer like once or twice or, you know, it is such a big time difference. It's, it's literally like 20 seconds difference. between the two buffered jumps that you gotta make. What, what's frustrating is that corner of the wall that Link like steps on sometimes and it like randomly changes how, how or the timing of the hook shot. And that's why you need to practice it like a hundred times so you get a feel for that, that part right there and the different heights of your jump that you're gonna get because you're not always gonna jump at the same distance. No matter how good you are. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. And uh, we'll be continuing on the speedrunning journey, teaching people the games we play and trying to learn along the way. See you guys then.